There is a new tropical depression located just in the northwestern Caribbean that has prompted watches and warnings and it is likely that it will become a hurricane, potentially a major hurricane. In this video, I will be breaking down all you should know about this along with our other systems across the Atlantic and before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important video. Okay guys, and so thank you for tuning into this update and we're going to be starting out taking a look at our other systems out there across the Atlantic. So we're going to the coast of Africa and look at that big colorful blob that is making its way out toward the west. That is a new tropical wave which is on its way out. Now if we should go to this outlook map here, we can see that we have that area shaded. Now as that tropical wave moves off Africa, it might encounter some conditions conditions as it heads westward and eventually we could see some development of it but as of right now low 20% chance of development as development is not imminent we also have invest 92l which continues to lose its potential to become something and right now it is unlikely that it will become anything at all we've also got hurricane franklin so earlier today franklin intensified into a hurricane and so as we look at the cone forecast of the hurricane, here we can see that it is expected to become a major hurricane as we're going to be heading into Monday. There we have that M, that is what it represents. So uh, it could peak as a category three, but uh, it could make a close approach to Bermuda as we're going to be heading toward the midweek. No guarantee of that happening. So if you're in Bermuda, you want to keep watch. But of course, I'm here to keep you guys updated and eventually it should be making its way out uh, to the northeast very quickly as we head into the last part of this week and so let us return to the satellite imagery and here we can see that there isn't much happening across some parts of the Turks and Caicos Islands and Bahamas a bit of thunderstorm activity passing by for some spots maybe a brief shower nothing crazy as we head into the Caribbean islands most of that activity is for the northern islands that uh, is being induced by our systems which are depression 10 and hurricane Franklin so that is where we see most of the activity parts of Cuba the Cayman Islands Jamaica Hispaniola Puerto Rico even going to the Virgin Islands a bit of activity as well so we'll be going on to our new depression very shortly but uh, here in Jamaica this morning it was very very cool lots of showers lots of thunderstorms for some areas and overall just a pretty good and well needed relief from all the heat that we have been experiencing now on to our depression so as we look at the infrared satellite imagery here we can see that it is looking very colorful now in those darker areas those burgundy black and gray spots even with that purple in the midst that is indicating very cold cloud top so as those thunderstorms grow of course as we head further and further up into the atmosphere it gets cooler so temperature decreases with altitude or height that is why it's very cold there and that is where we find the heaviest uh, rainfall the strongest thunderstorm activity taking place and right now the system itself that low level center is stationary right in the Yucatan Channel, which is that area of water between the Yucatan and Cuba. And we're seeing some pretty good outflow. The system is symmetrical and that is indicating that it is healthy and strengthening. And there have been no recon missions today. Those hurricane hunters haven't flown in as yet, but they should do so tomorrow and provide us with some more accurate data on the system. Even looking at the visible satellite imagery, here we can see that rotation. It is so evident right now. The system is looking very, very good. And there are uh, tropical storm watches and a warning that are in place. Let's go on to the cone forecast. And here we have it, the cone of uncertainty from the National Hurricane Center. So the current maximum sustained winds are 30 miles per hour. And its current movement is stationary. And uh, it should remain in this general region. We'll be moving about a bit here and there eventually. But it should remain in this general area until Monday afternoon. Then it is going to start making its turn up to the north and accelerating up to the north. But then a front is going to be coming down and uh, that is going to be what helps to induce that northeastward track expected and here we can see the cone widening so anywhere going from the florida panhandle along the big bend even going to uh, central florida could be impacted by this system and a state of emergency has been declared i'm aware of that and now is the time to prepare
why because this is only three days out even though it is going to be lingering uh, along the yucatan channel up onto monday afterwards we see that it is going to gradually make its way up to the north and to the northeast uh, at a much quicker rate so those impacts will be uh likely tuesday night heading into wednesday morning eventually the system could make its way through georgia and the carolinas up there weakening as it makes its way out of the u.s but for now going back to those watches and warnings the tropical storm warning that is in blue and in effect for the yucatan peninsula from tulum to rio lagartos including cozumel hope i'm pronouncing those names correctly please forgive me if i'm not and then a tropical storm watch that is in effect for pinar del rio and the isle of youth uh, those are areas in cuba that are under that tropical storm watch so those tropical storm conditions uh in the warning area likely within the next 36 hours for the watch area possible within the next 48 hours so there could be periods of very heavy rainfall and uh, that could trigger those mudslides, landslides uh, in the areas that are under those watches and the warning. And so guys, please stay safe. Do not take any unnecessary risks. And then as it relates to the potential intensity of the system, the maximum strength of this that the National Hurricane Center is currently forecasting is 75 miles per hour. So a weak category one hurricane. Now that is possible, but I personally see this thing here intensifying further than that. And the high resolution models are calling for a major hurricane, Cat 3, Cat 5 intensity and the Gulf is notorious for producing such storms that intensify at a very quick rate I'm not saying that it will happen in fact with or depression here but uh, at the same time it is in a conducive environment and I don't doubt that this could become a major hurricane so the main fuel for or depression the reason it has been getting itself together so nicely today is those very warm sea surface temperatures this map here with those more orange and red areas they indicate the above average temperatures white means normal or average meanwhile the blues indicate cooler than normal temperatures we hardly see any blues here but in the gulf we can definitely see that it is very very warm on the actual map surface waters up to 31 32 degrees celsius even for some spots so this is going to be supporting potential rapid intensification with other conditions being favorable let's look at this map here now this is indicating the uh water vapor now in more of those gray areas white blue green that we see those are areas of moisture meanwhile those reds those burgundies uh, that burnt orange shade that is indicating the dry air so there is a bit of dry air uh, near the system and so uh, if that infiltrates then it could help to reduce its intensity or slow down the rate at which it gets itself together until it mixes out that dry air and attempt to uh, further intensify and then uh, the wind shear is not uh, really impactful on the system right now but only time will tell what's going to be happening guys many possibilities are on the table and uh, even though uh, the future remains uncertain, especially in terms of where we'll see landfall, uh, you want to ensure that you prepare. As I said, please listen to your local officials and do not take any unnecessary risks, guys. Please heed the warnings to protect yourself and your loved ones as best as possible. And so I will continue to keep you posted, though, so that you're on top of all that is happening with me. And that is pretty much it for this update. And so I hope you found this video to be quite informative informative but if you have any questions please leave them in the comments i'll respond to you once i get the chance to and as always remember to be otherwise